Hello and welcome. It's Saturday afternoon football. Dennis Cometti here. Great to be back in Bendigo, the world leader in the number of people around whom you shouldn't make a sudden move. Wonderful weather for football. It's disappointing for the players when they get such a low turnout. My ally in the box for this match will be Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Yes, thanks, Dennis. Real pleasure to be here for this game today. Today's duel is between the Blues and the Tigers. Here they come. We are the Northern Blues. We are the old time. Umpire tosses the coin. Werribee win the toss. Both these teams are in the top eight. This should be a quality match. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little unruly and maybe take matters into their own hands. Ah, the sound of the first bounce. You don't always get what you wish for, you get what you work for. He has the ball. Langdon collects it with the quick hands. Inside 50 now. It's hit the post, that's a behind. The Tigers by a point. He looks for a man on the lead. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. You know more about him than me, Richo. Reckon he can bag this one? He'll need a bigger kick than he has from here. Uh huh. Going for number one. Miss for a behind. The Tigers by two points. Marchbank looking for a lead. McCready soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Bumps the pigskin. A great effort. Slams it on the boot. It was all his. Sends it on its way. Nice hands. Sheehan kicks it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. He pumped that one. He wins the contest. Booted by McCready. Mountford catches it. Bumps the pigskin. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. McCready has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He slams that on the boot. Petrevsky Seaton has the football. <laughs> Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Claimed by Paulson. Gains possession. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Burn grabs that one. Burn sends one up towards the wing. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Boots it. Taken by Petrevsky Seaton. Petrevsky Seaton has got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Kerno with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Langdon with the mark. Gets boot to leather. Nice hands. Kicks it across the ground. Ramsey was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. He takes control of the loose ball. McCready with the running catch. Petrevsky Seaton shrugs off the tackle as if he's built like a bicycle shed. Holson seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Fisher with a strong mark. Cunningham puts his boot on it. Good mark. He steadies now in front of goal. 
65 metres out. Fisher keeping it low. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Smeds takes aim for goals. A brave shot, but an unwise one in the end. The lead is easily in reach for the Northern Blues. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Fisher soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Trying to get some momentum with this kick. Fisher manages to sneak it through. The Northern Blues take the first goal. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. He gets another possession. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. Behind posts should be cowering in fear. Kicks it across the ground. Great mark under pressure. Burn is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Petrevsky Seaton claims the ball, sending it on its way. Strong mark there. Silvani boots it. The boys marks it. He boots it. Langdon catches it. Gets boot to leather. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. He surely won't miss from this distance. They could take the lead right here. I need to bleep myself about now. Ramsey getting his first right there. Well, they got that badly needed goal. Can they build on this? Ramsey seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. He loves it. A dead straight bounce. He's got the football now. He has the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Nice contested mark by Smets. Smets has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Ball up call. Lucky bounce collected. Gets the ball free. Junker kicks it just in time. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Lobs the pass. He just can't get out of the action. Petrevsky Seaton. Handball short. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. Can you tell us more, Richard? Fisher will be heading off the field. That looks really serious to me. Picture perfect drop punt. Strong mark. Kicks. Catch by Langdon. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Nice mark there. Burn wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. He boots it. Petrevsky Seaton with great hands. He kicks the ball. That's a mark. Sends it on its way. A good mark under the circumstances. The first quarter is over, and the Blues trailing by one. The Tigers will be happy with the early scoreboard pressure they are applying to Northern Blues. They are setting the standard out there, and it will be interesting to see how the Blues can come back after the break. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? The Blues way out in front of Werribee with the possessions. 69% next to their name. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests, eight to three. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Northern Blues with 26 and Werribee with 19. It doesn't get much closer than that. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. And we go for quarter number two. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Langdon comes in like a wrecking ball. McCready chooses the third of two options there. LeBoy on the ball at the moment. <clears throat> Puts the head down as he runs in. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Pickett sinking his first goal. Pickett is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster.
Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The umpire has bounced the ball. Junker has the ball. He gets a kick out of the pack. McCready bumped off the ball. The spilled ball is collected. He just can't get out of the action. Was that a throw? I think it was. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. A long way out. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by McCready. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Sheehan has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Kerno marks it. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. He lines it up with the goal. He boots it. Cunningham takes the mark. Going for goal number one. The goal for the Northern Blues. Cunningham, obviously not bothered by the pressure, sinks that needed goal. Paulson, with a big fist on it, collected by Leboy. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. A one-two. He runs for home. Pickett pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The Blues lead by two goals. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Choose to kick it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Jams it on the boot now. A good mark under the circumstances. Bumps the big skin. The mark missed by Marchbank. Handball finds LeBoy. Squeezes out a handball. Lovely hand pass hits the man. Was that a throw? I think it was. Puts boot to ball. Scoops up the ball. Has it now. With the ball now. Petrevsky Seaton slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. The Blues are having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the team? Paulson kicks the ball. Choose to kick it. Hands like dinner plates. Shot at goal by Cunningham. Cunningham did well then. He's bagged a couple now. Kicks the goal. That'll be a team lifter. Paulson. Thumps it forward. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Great mark under pressure. Thumps the big skin. Strong mark. Trims the grass with that one. The boy marks it. Gets boot to leather. Stuck the mitts out and held onto it. Sheehan keeps that one low. Marked by Durden. Boots it. He wins the contest. Petrevsky Seaton with the kick. Over the top of the pack. Kicks it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. Too far out to score, surely. Leboy pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Sheehan kicks for goal. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Gallucci in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. The ball is hammered towards goal by Gallucci. 15 meters out. McKay tries his luck with a shot at goal. A good mark under the circumstances. Durden can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He plays it on. He boots it. Petrevsky Seaton gets possession. Langdon with the pick up. He boots it. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. The boys gets the catch. He kicks quickly and the mark will be paid. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark. Paulson lobs the pass. A nice long kick by Junker. Kicks it. Takes it well. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Over the top of the pack. Gathered by Ramsey. Dishes it off to the running player. Pick up by Marchbank. 
McCready having no trouble taking that one. McCready has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Ramsey picks up the loose ball. Jacks giving away a free. Ramsey lines it up a long way out. And that's the end of the term with the Blues 27, Werribee 8. The Tigers just struggling at the moment to get anything right. A lack of quality finishing and some poor decision making keeping them behind in this one. We'll go to Richo for the stats. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. Werribee was slightly ahead with 19 to 9. The Blues way out in front of Werribee with the possessions. 69% next to their name. Much appreciated, Richo. It's half time and no doubt the coach will want to have a chat to his team about their first half performance. We're back for the third term. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Hits the running man. He collects the loose ball. Paulson has had plenty of it, Rojo. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Smed slams it on the boot. Great mark. The boy just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Takes it well. He steadies now in front of goal. The mark is taken by Watson. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Werribee forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Shot at goal by Smeds. The long kick doesn't make the goal. Takes that one strongly. A long way out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Has it got the carry? A goal for the Northern Blues. The ball bouncing well. Deft touch from Paulson. Squeezes on a handball. Kick by Langdon. McCready catches. McCready has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. The boy slams the ball to his boot. Sheehan kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Boots it. Cunningham claims the ball. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. An ideal position to be kicking from. Looks like he's going to go long. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. The boys has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. Watson gathers it. Pickett gains possession. Smets finds the running player. Smets takes a shot. Smets has got it. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here's the bounce. Has it now. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Sock is the ball away. The loose ball, scooped up, gets the loose ball. Chips it down towards half forward. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Ramsey kicks for goal. Nice hands. Bumps the pigskin. Strong mark. Sends it on its way. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Burn. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. That's a mark. Works it across the ground. Durden takes it well. Picture perfect drop punt. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Chips it down towards half forward. 
with the ball now. He's got the footy in his hands. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. His aim was just off. He has a few options. It's Edward Scissorhands. Langdon with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Marked by Kerno. Kerno wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. He kicks the ball. He gets it under pressure. He slams that on the boot. Marchbank catches it. Sending it on its way. He gets up. Terrific courage. Le Boy kicks. Sheehan has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Puts boot to ball. Great mark under pressure. The Blues, which has been so dominant in the marking contest, and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Gallucci has a kick. The ball's up. He looks for a man on the lead. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Junker sends the ball on its way. March back. Claims it. Low spearing kick. The ball mopped up. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Smeds has the chance to add one more to his talent. So close, but just a behind. The Northern Blues in front. Solid catch. 50 metres from home, and he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. What a great goal by Smeds. Northern Blues could just playing kick to kick out there, and it barely had to come a loose ball in the forward line. Able to grab it on the half volley. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Effective hit out there. Off the ground. He's got the football now. Jams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Simpkin in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number one. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Langdon claims the ball. Grabs the footy. He shows the quick hands. Richo, what do you think about the quarter we just watched? Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Richo, what do you think about that? They call it the Premiership quarter, and the Blues made the most of their momentum well and truly swinging it their way. I can't wait to see if they can maintain it in the last. Richo has some stats for us now. The possession stats make a compelling case for Northern Blues. They are getting first use of the ball every time with possession at 69% to 31%. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 24 to 9. Thank you very much, Richo. The final term has commenced. You and your opponent want the same thing. The only thing that matters is who works the hardest for it. Junker sends the ball on its way. Scoops up the ball. Langdon is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Lobs the handball. Big man does nicely. Burn. Handball short. Jams it on the boot now. Takes that one strongly. Paulson with the kick. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Cherno puts it on the boot. He has to hold on to those. Scoops up the ball. He's got the football now. He gets the hand pass. Boots it. He picks up the loose ball. Lobs the handball. Simka. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. He just can't get out of the action. Silvani passes. Petrevsky Seaton replies back. Fisher goes back to collect the ball, a free kick, and several teeth. Gets boot to high. Wins the hardball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Langdon enjoying a height advantage. Langdon, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. He lays off the pass, running in for the goals now. Good mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Perfect kick. 
The Blues trails the Tigers. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Jack sends one up towards the wing. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Petrevsky Seaton with the kick. The boy drilled that kick in. Nice mark under pressure. Paulson puts the ball in the hands of fate. A lovely drop punt. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kick by Smeds. Nice mark there. Sends the Sharon on its way, and the mark will be paid. Werribee just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He grabs it. He slams that on the boot. Good mark. He gets boot to the ball. Ahern with the mark. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Now we'll get a ball up. Big leap. Ahern picks up the loose ball. Perfect kick. Ahern, obviously not bothered by the pressure, sinks that needed goal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Hits the running man. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. With the quick hands. Langdon cops it from behind. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Sheehan sends the ball on its way, over the top of the pack. Junker, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. Cunningham gets the footy. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. It's played on. He handballs it. Petrevsky Seaton handballing to his own advantage. Durden slams the ball to his boot. He wins the contested mark. Langdon kicks it. He wins the contest. Marchbank clears it out of the 50. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. He takes control of the loose ball. Gets the ball free. McCready boots it. Strong mark. The dominance we're seeing from the Blues at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. Sending it on its way. Good mark. He plays on, puts the head down as he runs into goal. That's a mark. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. 20 metres from home. A chance to add one more to his tally. Simpkin scores with a beautiful kick. They're giving it their all to get back into this game. Really wears his heart on his sleeve. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Kirk, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Strong mark. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. You'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. That's three in a row for the Tigers. They're gathering some steam now. Werribee could have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. His teammates rush over. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. 
is in his possession. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by LeBoy. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Gains possession. Boots it. The final siren is not far away. Works it across the ground. Strong mark by Durden. That's a massive kick. Werribee couldn't do it. Richard, did you enjoy the matchup between the Blues and Werribee? The way a team plays as a whole determines its success. You may have the greatest bunch of individual stars in the world, but if they don't play together, the club won't be worth a cent. Champions, they like to send up, we'll keep our end up, and they will know that they've been playing. And the final the result is the Blues 49 and Werribee 34. Thanks for joining us, Richard, but that's all we have time for. It was great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. Never lets you down We're the only team Old Preston knows We'll hold the champions They like to send us We'll keep our end up And they will know That they've been playing Against the famous Northern Blues